हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अनिमा उपाध्याय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज वीडियो इज नॉट ओनली इंटरेस्टिंग बट ऑल्सो हॉरिफाइंग बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक द इन विजिबिलिटी क्लो एंड दिस इज द रीजन इट इज सेट दैट साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी कुड बी अ बूम only if used in safe hands just imagine that without your knowledge and your permission someone is there with you in your living spaces and you can't see him yes science has made this a reality and meta materials takes the credit of making the invisibility cloak so in this video we will learn about the meta materials the future of science which is spooky too so if you have not subscribed to my channel so far please do it and also share this video among all your friends and colleagues because in future we will be talking more about such interesting topics so let's begin with the today's topic the invisibility the materials that can make you invisible are meta materials and they were invented by v g vesilago as theoretical model now known as meta materials in the institute of physics and technology in the year 1967 in moscow it's really spooky to think that they are also present in your room unseen but before starting to learn about the invisibility first let us begin with the visibility why the things are visible to us what makes the things visible to us so what is visibility the ability to see or being seen is called visibility why the objects are visible when the light from a source such as sun or a bulb or torch when falls on an object it gets reflected in all directions and the reflected light from the object reaches our eyes thus making the objects visible to us as you can see in the figure the light from the bulb is falling on the book and it is getting reflected and this reflected light reaches our eyes and we can see the book so what is required to see an object it is the source of light which is required to see an object what happens when the light falls on on an object when the light falls on an object it is either reflected refracted or absorbed depending on the nature of the object being polished transparent or dark what properties of light makes the objects visible to us reflection and scattering of light helps us to see the object clearly so reflection phenomenon is very very important to see the object now comes the question that what causes invisibility so we have learned that reflection makes the object visible when the light falls on the object and it is reflected but if instead of reflection the light bends around the object and changes its path then the object will not be visible to us and this bending of light around an object without casting any shadow or reflecting the light from its surface makes the object invisible as you can see in the image the light is coming from the source but instead of getting reflected from the object it is turning around the object and going through are there any 
only such materials that can produce invisibility. Yes, the artificially made materials called metamaterials are capable to produce invisibility. How do metamaterials make the objects invisible? Metamaterials makes the objects appear invisible by bending the light around those objects through refraction instead of reflecting back the light from those objects as you can see in the figure above. Explain the optical capabilities of metamaterials. The engineered nanoscale materials called metamaterials are capable for extreme control over optical fields as they can control the way in which the light interacts with them. The light reflected by an object made up of metamaterial is refracted in the wrong way called negative refraction, thus rendering the objects invisible. What are metamaterials? Now we must learn because we are talking about the metamaterials which can make the things invisible. So what are metamaterials? This question comes to our mind. So the metamaterials is a Greek word where meta means beyond and materials we all know it stands for matter. Hence the materials that are structured artificially on the sub wavelength scale that is below the wavelength of light are able to control and mold the flow of electromagnetic or any type of physical waves are called metamaterials. They provide with spatial, optical and acoustic properties. Now what are the properties of metamaterials? They are invisibility, acoustic control capability, negative electrical permittivity and magnetic permeability. What are the uses of metamaterials? They are used in optical filters, medical devices, remote aerospace applications, as sensor for detection and infrastructure monitoring, smart solar power management, in lasers, in crowd control, radomes, high frequency battlefield communication, lenses for high gain antennas, ultrasonic sensors, in shielding structures from earthquakes, and so many important uses of metamaterials are there. What are radomes? They are weatherproof enclosures, transparent to radio waves that protects a radar antenna. What are super lenses? Lenses that allow imaging below the diffraction limit. That is the minimum resolution and can be achieved by conventional lenses having a numerical aperture capital N A with illumination wavelength lambda where d is equal to lambda by 2 N A are called super lenses. When integrated with optical recording media they can be used to achieve optical data density higher than limited by diffraction. What areas of research will be benefited by the knowledge of metamaterials? Fields such as electrical engineering, electromagnetics, classical optics, solid state physics, microwave and antenna engineering, optoelectronics, nanophotonic and photonics, material sciences, nanoscience and semiconducting engineering all will be benefited. Are metamaterials natural or artificial? Metamaterials are artificially occurring materials. However, Materials such as opal and vanadium oxide do exhibit unusual properties when they interact with electromagnetic radiation and are called as natural metamaterials. Why interest in metamaterials gaining momentum? The primary reason for the intensive interest in metamaterials is their unusual effect on light propagating through them and providing invisibility, which is an unusual phenomenon, read only in the fairy tales. How the properties of metamaterials maneuvered? The properties are maneuvered by manipulating their internal physical structure. 
This makes them remarkably different from natural materials whose properties are mainly determined by their chemical constraints and bonds. Why metamaterials are invisible? Metamaterials consist of randomly distributed artificial structures that have a size and spacing much smaller than the wavelengths of the incoming electromagnetic radiation. As a result, the microscopic details of these individual structures cannot be resolved by the wave. Therefore, it becomes difficult to view the fine features of metamaterials that operate at optical wavelengths with visible light, thus rendering them invisible. Shorter wavelength radiations such as X-rays needed to image and scan them. So we are talking that metamaterials don't allow reflection but they refract the light. So what is refraction? Illustrate with example. The bending of a wave when it passes from one medium to another is called refraction. And examples are pool of water which appears to be less deep than its actual depth. It is because of refraction. A pencil or any object when half immersed in water looks bent as you can see in the figure A. And figure B explains you refraction of light where the incident ray IR when it is passing from one medium to another is changing its path from the original shown by the ray RR, the refracted ray. What is refractive index? Refractive index is a measure of the bending of a ray of light when passing from one medium into another, for example, from air into water or from one layer of glass into another layer of glass. What is normal ray refraction? The normal ray refraction is an imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the surface as you can see in the figure C. The normal is used to measure the angle of incident ray and the refracted ray. The angle of incidence I and angle of refraction R is the angle between the normal and the incoming light ray or the angle of refraction between the normal and the outgoing light ray. What is negative refractive index and what is its effect on visibility? The negative refractive index causes optical illusion but not invisibility. Here in negative refraction the light is bent in the direction opposite from the normal refraction as you can see in the figure C. When the light passes from a positive index medium to a negative index medium, the light is refracted on the same side of the normal as the incident light. In other words, light is bent negatively at the interface between the two media. Thus, the negative refraction takes place. Here in the figure, it is explained. The red color incident ray is coming from one medium and going into the another medium but the negative refraction is shown by the blue ray which is taking the same path, same direction as the incident ray direction. When was negative refractive index demonstrated? It was demonstrated by American physicist Robert Shelby and his colleagues at microwave wavelengths and the phenomenon was subsequently extended to optical wavelengths in the year 2001. What are the other phenomena that are also reversed in metamaterials? Other fundamental phenomena such as Cherenkov radiation and the Doppler effect are also reversed in negative index materials or metamaterials. What other properties can be manipulated in metamaterials? In addition to electric permittivity that is epsilon and magnetic permeability mu as well as the refractive index, engineers can also manipulate the anisotropy, chirality and 
non-linearity of a matter material. What is Cherenkov radiation? Cherenkov radiation is an electromagnetic radiation emitted when electrically charged particles such as protons or electrons travel faster than light in a clear medium like water. Why does Cherenkov radiation glow blue? Due to high energies, the photons travel as waves which have high frequencies and short wavelengths. This is typical of violet and blue colors, hence they glow blue. What is anisotropy and how is it important for metamaterials? The structural property of non-uniformity in different directions is called anisotropy. Some composites and dielectrics exhibit extremely large anisotropy which allows for negative refraction and new imaging systems such as super lenses. How is chirality important in metamaterials? The chiral metamaterials cannot be superimposed onto their mirror image. Metamaterials have an effective chirality parameter k that is non-zero. A sufficiently large k can lead to a negative refractive index for one direction of circularly polarized light even when epsilon and mu are not simultaneously negative. Non-linear metamaterials have properties that depend on the intensity of the incoming wave. Such metamaterials can lead to novel tunable materials or produce unusual conditions such as doubling the frequency of the incoming wave. What is transformation optics? The transformation optics is the capability of bending light or electromagnetic waves and energy in any preferred or desired fashion for a desired application. What is the best example of transformation optics? The invisibility cloak is the best example of transformation optics. Light smoothly wraps around the cloak without introducing any scattering of light, thus creating a virtual empty space inside the cloak where an object becomes invisible. How does transformation optics work? In transformation optics, the metamaterials with varying values of permittivity, that is epsilon and permeability, that is mu, is constructed so that light takes a specific desired path. This unprecedented material properties Provided by metamaterials allows for novel control of the propagation of light, leading to the rapid growth of a new field known as transformation optics. Give more applications of transformation optics technique. Besides invisible, invisible cloak, the technique is also used to make intricate optical illusion devices advanced lensing systems and field manipulators. Which fields uses concepts of metamaterials and transformation optics? The concepts of metamaterials and transformation optics have been applied not only to the manipulation of electromagnetic waves but also to acoustics, mechanical, thermal and quantum mechanical systems. Such applications have included the creation of a negative effective mass density and negative effective modulus in a caustic hyperlens with resolution greater than the diffraction limit of sound waves and in invisibility cloak for thermal flows. Are metamaterials composite materials? Yes. Metamaterials are rationally designed composites made of tailored building blocks that are composed of one or more constituent bulk materials at sub-wavelength scale. What is meant by sub-wavelength scale? The optical components having dimensions less than the wavelength of light are considered as a sub-wavelength scale. When and by whom the invisible cloak experiment demonstrated? It was first demonstrated by David Shurig 
and colleagues in the year 2006 at microwave frequencies. Where invisible cloak finds applications in day-to-day -day life, in military, they can be used in spying on enemies to extract the information directly from the source without the source being knowing about it. And in police investigation by spying on suspects to find out the information about the crime. How is invisibility disadvantageous? The wearer of the cloak won't be seen but also won't be able to see anything. As per today's knowledge, it could also be disadvantageous if used for doing bad deeds or is used by wrong people. What is the limitation of invisibility cloak? Till date, it is made only for a single frequency of light in the microwave or in the visible range. Other frequencies reflects back of the cloaked object, making it clearly visible. How complete invisibility be obtained? To obtain complete invisibility, a full spectrum frequency cloaking and the ability to maintain invisibility even when the object is in motion is achieved. Are invisible cloaks a reality and what does it provide? Yes, they are a reality but is still far from perfection. It provides anonymity and secrecy. In which movie the invisibility cloak was shown. It was Harry Potter where the invisibility cloak was shown. How invisibility cloaks be dangerous and spooky. If used to intrude like ghosts into anyone's living rooms without their will, thus violating their personal spaces and freedom, it could be spooky and dangerous. So, a lot will unfold which could be interesting but dangerous too. Please share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Wait for more such interesting videos on interesting topics. I will try to upload the same in Hindi also. Thank you.